631 Sports with Andrew Schnitker. Welcome back. I'm Andrew Snicker and welcome into Fox 31 Sports. Nine-year-old Will Plowden has overcome many obstacles in only nine years of life. And while not a major one, the ability to play sports was one of those obstacles. But you see, for this avid baseball fan, the will to play his favorite sport was stronger than any adversity thrown his way. Known to most as the children's game, baseball doesn't take much. A bat, a ball, and some bases to run. But for nine-year-old Will Plowden, there was a time that the game meant for everyone wasn't meant for him. He was born with bilateral club feet. But the bilateral part means that both of his feet were clubbed. And basically, uh, his feet turned in backwards. If you were to set him down, the first, thing that were to, the first thing that would have hit the ground would have been his ankles. Diagnosed by doctors as one of the worst cases of clubbed feet, Will had his first surgery when he was eight weeks old, with seven procedures following. But the pain and those procedures weren't going to stop Will from walking, running, or playing baseball. I like baseball the best but, uh, because well, the first time I played it, I, I was really good at it. And so I kept on playing it. <laughs> if you saw Will's room, it's loaded up with uh, baseball cards. Like he has a full binder with baseball cards in it. He, he has a ton of it and he knows every player's name. The kid who looks up to the likes of Chipper and Buster taught himself how to play using any surface around the house. Once healthy, it was just a natural progression to play baseball, but there were still doubts. You see these feet that you think, I mean, you didn't think he was going to be able to walk, much less, um, you know, participate in athletics and then much less excel in athletics. Will grinds away for the game he loves, dealing on the mound and manning first base for two teams. Sure, there's pain on the ankles that take every bit of strength to bend, but only after the final outs are recorded. Once he walks across the white line, the pain's gone. So he's, he, uh, you know, he, it just, I, I guess the endorphins take over. And his passion for baseball translated to a perfect day this summer. Will pitching for his Albany Dixie League team flat out took over. I was just throwing the ball and thought I was pitching. And then everybody kept yelling, yeah, and I'm like, this is not really how they usually do it. Pitch by pitch, inning by inning, Will was perfect. 15 hitters came to the plate, and 15 hitters sat down. It was a perfect game. All Will did was pitch, and he batted. It was, it was literally a perfect game. Against all odds, brushing away adversity, this nine-year-old takes any obstacle in stride, making everyone thankful for what they've got. Will's just thankful for a bat and a ball. I'm just like them. That's when I play. I just feel like I'm the rest of them. I don't think he ever felt like that he wasn't going to go and do the things that everybody else went and did. You know, this is his normal. He does probably endure more pain after a game than some people, but to him it's worth it. And after taking a few weeks away from the Diamond, Will and his family are ready for next season. The pitcher will start practice with his travel team sports specific in the next few weeks.